Hello guys, this video will be a Vue.js lesson for those who haven't even tried Vue.js and we will learn that from Laravel default installation. I've noticed that Laravel default installation with auth comes with Vue component by default which we can use and see how it works and actually learn from it. So let's try it out. So let's start with a new Laravel project, Laravel new project tool will be my folder and minus minus auth would generate the auth scaffold so login and register links and with those links it will generate also Vue.js component okay so that is successful let's open PHP storm okay so we opened our PHP storm and our routes generated automatically and let's take a look at welcome blade which is by default in Laravel so this one right in the browser we load the page, it is project2.test, I've prepared the domain behind the scenes and this is a default Laravel homepage. Now let's try an experiment and instead of that welcome text let's add a dynamic Vue.js component. So we just delete everything in the body and here we will add a Vue.js. So our example won't be a single page application like Vue.js first but we will load Vue.js into the existing Laravel application. And to do that, Laravel already prepared something for us. Let's take a look at the folder resources.js and the main file for that for loading of JavaScript is app.js, this one. So it requires bootstrap file JavaScript. You shouldn't care about that for now. It requires Vue.js by default and it registers Vue component. Example component from the file components, example component.view. And that is, I remind you, a video for those who haven't tried Vue.js at all. This is a concept how Vue works. So let me show you. Let's open example component.view. It already exists. And here it is. Every Vue.js component consists of two things, template and script. So template is an HTML part, so you can put whatever HTML here. And script is a JavaScript part for managing the data. And to use that component, all we need to do is take the name from app.js, so we register that as example component and inside of our blade we do example component like this. And that's it. So if it works, that HTML tag would be transformed into the template part into this. So it should show this from template. And all we need to do is to compile that JavaScript. What is compiling JavaScript? So we work with resources.js folder all the time. And as soon as we are ready, we compile, we run some npm commands. And the result of those npm commands will be a compiled file, public JS app.js. Let's do that now. So we cd into that folder and do npm install. npm install works with a file called package.json, this and it installs all the JavaScript libraries that are in dev dependencies. And this is, I remind you, default Laravel project with auth. I didn't customize that code in any way. So we have Vue.js installed, also jQuery, Bootstrap, Axios, and a lot of other things which you shouldn't care about that now. But what you need to understand is that package.json works in a similar way like composer.json for Laravel. So package.json also downloads the libraries and puts them so in Laravel version, Composer JSON puts them into vendor. In this case, it puts it into node modules folder, which appeared just now. So node modules is pretty similar to vendor in Laravel, just for JavaScript. So npm install was successful, and then we need to run npm run dev, which would compile the actual JavaScript file for us. Okay. So this is the result. The result is public JS app.js file. It is pretty big and you never need to edit that manually, but so that you would understand all the files that are in resources.js and all the modules, all the JavaScript libraries are compiled into one file app.js. And all we need to do is include that into the body like this. So script, script, source and then however you prefer to call it. I personally prefer asset js app js. One more thing we need to do is to assign the main root tag. So in our app js resources js app js we have this. So we initialize the view application on the element. So we have to have div with id app 
or whatever we provide here to make it all work. So we need to wrap it all in div id app cut and paste like this. And now let's reload our welcome blade, welcome page. And as you can see, instead of welcome and all of that, we have that example component, which comes from, again, example component of you template part. And if we change something like add hello, we need to recompile. So Vue.js is still in our resources JS. We need to run npm run dev again, not npm install because we didn't change any libraries, but npm run dev build successful. And we refresh that again and we have hello here. So this is the basics, how Vue.js works, how you can add Vue.js component into your Laravel application. And the example is provided to you in Laravel itself if you install Laravel with auth. And of course, you can continue with that. So playing around with script part of the component and all of that. But the goal of this video was to show you the actual example component that comes with Laravel by default. Hope it was helpful. I'm planning more videos on Vue.js and Laravel and also the course in a while. So stick to the channel, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.